we're really excited. We have a new game here, and I'm so ready to crush you at it. What? No way. <laughs> you know what? You're the one who's going to be crushed. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to win. In your dreams. I don't even know what the game is, but I know I'm better than you. Speaking of, what is the game exactly? Well, uh, I see that we have instructions, instructions here, so we probably should read them. All right. Okay, so it says, before playing this game, we got to separate the piece of paper, putting good on the right and bad on the left. You probably should get to that. First one is... Um, pay attention at church. Pay attention at church. So that's good. good. So right. All right. Daydream or distract others at church. Okay, that is the left. left. Tell the truth. Okay, that's good. Know that God will help you. That's oh good. yeah, good thing. Give credit to God when someone compliments you. Oh yeah, really good. Keep quiet when you should speak about Jesus. That's bad. Disobey your parents. Bad. Obey your parents. Good. Forgive someone. Bad. Well, I mean, good. <laughs> Forgive, <laughs> Forgive someone. Forgive someone. Good. Good. Pray Hurry. and read the Bible before doing other fun things. Good. good. Hold a grudge against someone. Bad. bad. Be kind to your sibling. Good. Be mean to your sibling. Bad. Worry about something. Uh, bad. Of... Okay. Bad. Forget to pray and read the Bible. Bad. Refuse to share. Bad. Give a gift. Ah, good. Steal something. Bad. Share with others. Good. Lie. Bad. Now that we've done that, let's move on to actually playing. Okay, let's read the instructions. One person reads through each of the items, okay, and we're supposed to admit whether or not we've done that thing, and mm -hmm. it's one point for good and one minus point for bad. Yeah, I understand. Okay. You All got right. it. Okay, first. go ahead. Here first. Know that God will help you. One point. I got one point. Yep. Worry about something. Minus I got one. one point. <laughs> Pay attention at church. I get that point back. Oh, yeah. Daydream or distract others at church. Minus one. No. That's I, bad. I didn't do that. Obey your parents. There's another one. This one. No. <laughs> yeah, I lost it. <laughs> share with others. There's one. I have never refused to share. I've forgiven someone. And I've held a grudge at someone. Okay. So, I got two. That's not a great score, but uh, I'd like to see you do better. All right. I can do it. Do I'm going to beat you. Uh -huh, sure. Okay. Go ahead. Pray and read the Bible before doing fun things. Yes. Okay. One point. Forget to pray and read the Bible. Minus one point. Give credit to God when someone compliments you. Yes. One point. Okay. Keep quiet when you should speak about Jesus. So minus one point. Okay. Uh, um, be kind to your sibling. Yes. You have a point. lot to be kind to. Yeah, I have a lot of siblings to be kind to. Uh -huh. Be mean to your sibling. Uh, minus one point. <laughs> um, give a gift. Yes. Give a gift. Have you stolen something? Uh, yeah. Minus one point. Tell the truth. Yes, I've told the truth before. Okay. Lie. Oh, I've told lies too. Okay. Um, okay. I got zero. I won. I won. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 we didn't finish reading the instructions. So the instructions say, if you get 10 points, you win, any other score, you lose. Well, you didn't get 10 points. I give up. You lost. Oh, that means I lost This game is rigged! What? Nobody wins. Nobody won. Wow, we both failed hard. We did. How did this happen? I thought we would be really good at it. I mean, there's really no way we could have won that game. You know what this reminds me of? No, it's what? It's like how we could never be good enough, righteous enough, to meet the perfect standard. Oh, yeah, you're right. This game kind of matches life. You do one wrong thing, you get one point off. Mm -hmm. You aren't perfect anymore. Even if you try to do other good things to make up for it, that one sin stops you from meeting God's standard. That's what it means when we say Jesus died and came alive again to set us free from the law. We don't have to keep a score of our good and bad deeds while already knowing that we'll fail. When we believe in Jesus, he gives us a perfect righteousness to cover all of our sins. This is exactly what Paul wanted the Jews to know. They don't have just the law anymore. Jesus brought the chance to get grace, free gift, and the forgiveness from God Let's take a look at how Paul gives this message. On to you, Patricia. We're continuing in Acts 13, starting in verse 13. Pause the video, grab your Bible, and turn to Acts chapter 13, verse 13. Now Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos 
and came to Perga in Pamphylia. And John left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading from the Law and the Prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent a message to them, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, say it. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand, said, Men of Israel and you who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm he led them out of it. And for about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. And after destroying seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. All this took about four hundred and fifty years. And after that he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's offspring God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finished in his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but behold, after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. Brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you who fear God, to us has been sent the message of this salvation. For those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, because they did not recognize him nor understand the utterances of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath, fulfilled them by condemning him. And though they found in him no guilt worthy of death, they asked asked Pilate to have him executed. And when they had carried out all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, this he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus. As also it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son, today I have begotten you. And as for the fact that he raised him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and sure blessings of David. Therefore, he says also in another psalm, you will not let your holy ones be corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom God raised up did not see corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by him everyone who believes is freed from everything from from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest what is said in the prophets should come about. Look, you scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work that you will not believe, even if one tells it to you. As they went out, people begged that these things might be told to them the next Sabbath. And after the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who, as they spoke with them, urged them to continue in the grace of God. God's plan from the very beginning was to send Jesus to save whoever believed in him. Looking back, we can see how God used Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph to build up the people of Israel. He used Moses to take them out of Egypt and give them the law. The Israelites promised to follow the law, but it was impossible for them to be perfect. Even though they kept disobeying God's law, God still gave them the land of Canaan, protected them with judges like Barak, Gideon, Samson, and Samuel, and appointed kings for them. Prophets like King David and Isaiah wrote about the Holy One who would die but wouldn't stay dead. And it was through King David that Jesus was eventually born. God gave us his law, but he knew that we would never be perfect enough to save ourselves by following all the rules. Instead, comparing ourselves against the law shows us that each of us needs to ask Jesus to save us. Jesus died on the cross and came alive again so that everyone who believes in him will get forgiveness from God and live in heaven with him forever. Thanks for joining us. Here are a couple questions you can talk about with your family. 